This is a video on fuel filter change out on a Detroit 12.7 liter. This engine is a 2004, pardon me, a 2002 remanufactured engine installed in 2004. Anyways, the filters, there are two filters. One is there, and that filter is fuel filter 5206, and this is fuel filter 5207. And here are the fuel filters. Fifty two oh six is smaller than the fuel filter fifty two oh seven. There, that's right side up. Anyway, the small filter uh, catches all the heavy gunk and spares the uh, large filter. That was my experience. This one had a lot of garbage in it, and this one was clear. Anyways, you just need a filter wrench. Just use an oil filter wrench. Get under there and install those. I use that uh, oil catch pin to catch any diesel. Try to keep it from going on the dirt. Takes about 30 minutes altogether. And on this truck, the fuel filter is glass, the Davco. And what's neat about this filter is you can tell when it gets dirty. Climbs the filter, the fuel level climbs as the filter gets dirtier and dirtier. And this was a dirty fuel filter that was removed. It's a Fleet Guard 5369. And you need this wrench. Make sure you get the right size one. And what you do is you use this vent cap remover to unscrew that vent cap and then you unscrew this bottom uh, retaining ring and remove that filter. Of course you want to put a pan underneath to catch the uh, all the fuel in the filter. There is a I think there's a purge underneath I don't remember I did it about a year ago. Anyways, that's it for the fuel filter change out. It doesn't take very long. It's kind of neat to be well connected with your vehicles, do your own stuff. I find that the more I do, the more of the simple stuff I do, simple tricker stuff I do, the uh, more advanced I become. Who knows where the uh, simple work will take me. Oh, by the way, speaking of doing the work yourself, I had a leak right here in my power steering box. And I asked the mechanic about it uh, when I was having him do some other work on it, on the truck. And rather than have than them just going ahead and fixing it, fixing the leaks, which were easy fixes, they just left them. All I had to do was tighten this screw with a nut wrench socket, and there's another one down in under there that I needed to tighten. So that's all of that leak. Then 
uh, all I had to do was tighten this nut down to keep the oil from leaking out of here. It like took two minutes. The shop mechanic wouldn't even do it after me pointing it out. I mean, how chicken shit is that? Anyways, while I'm at it, I'll show you the water filter. Here is the antifreeze filter. It's, uh, let's see, I can't make out the first letter on it, but it is a F2051. This valve was bad, and the back valve was bad, and they had to be replaced. So what you have to do is you have to unscrew this and uh, squeeze, pinch the hose together so that the antifreeze won't leak out. And then you simply change out these valves. You have to order them from the uh, local Freightliner shop. They could have them at major auto parts places also. First this one was leaking and then this one was leaking. We found out. Anyways, that's a simple repair replacement also. That's it from uh, Simple Trucker Stuff.